Welcome. This is an unboxing for a new GE smart switch. This is the capacitive switch um, that just came out. It's the model number 14289. You can see that there. Uh, and we're going to open it up. Looks very similar to their older switches. Um, it comes with this almond uh, base plate if you have that type of uh, switch in your house. Uh, and it's got a little extension for the neutral wire if you need it. And here's a switch. Let's take a look. Open this up. Here it is. So there's no moving parts in here. Um, it's just a uh, capacitive switch. So the back looks very similar to their older switches. Um, you've got the, the load, the line, and the neutral, and the ground screws up here. Um, and then uh, here's the front. They, it looks like they've got this, this little button here. I think this is to join the network or to reset or something. Um, and from what they say on the instructions, um, Simply touch for on, off, or slide for dim lighting control. So I think the way it works is um, you can touch anywhere between these two little marks and it'll turn on and off uh, and you can slide to dim up and down. So um, I'm gonna put, I'll put links in the description. Um, I'll post another video of installation uh, and then I'll post uh, another video with a little demo. Hi, I'm here with the new GE capacitive switch. Um, it is model number 14289 uh, and I'm going to install it here. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and hook up all the screws. Okay, the switch is hooked up. Um, we've got the ground screw on the top there, the neutral wire on the side, and uh, this is the line on top is the load. Um, they do, the switch does have the uh, quick connects in the back. Um, I'm not a big fan of them, so I don't use them. Uh, and make sure that you use uh, 14 gauge wire. 12 gauge wire will not fit um, on the terminals, just FYI. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, push this in, uh, turn the power back on, and then I'll give you a demo of uh, how the capacitive switch works.